I love long things. Hey Chopsticks, it's Merrick, and today on the menu is Chinese fried rice rolls. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Merrick. Nice to meet you. I film mukbangs and ASMR, so if you are interested in these types of videos, make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so I have my rice rolls right in front of me. Rice rolls in Cantonese is called turn fun. So if you are Cantonese watching right now, I'm having some turn fun. I am so, so, so hungry. Let's eat everyone. Mm, I love turn fun, turn fun, turn fun. Oh, let's go for this one first, shall we? I think we shall. Here, let me give you a close up shot before I drop it. Oop, do you see it? Open wide, you guys got it? Slay. Oh no, I forgot to go over my sauces. Um, today I have three dipping sauces. Um, let me just go over the sauces real quick since I'm already talking about it. So this right here is some sesame paste. And then next to the sesame paste, we got some, oops, sorry for the clanging everyone. We got some hoisin sauce, so this is sweet. And then on this side, I have some hot sauce to give it some heat. You guys see it? Mm. So again, to iterate, iterate, is that how you pronounce it? Iterate, alliterate. We got sesame based hoisin sauce and hot sauce. Now let's slay this, you guys. I'm gonna go for the sesame, I think, first. Ooh. Nice and thick. Oop, it's still dripping. Hold on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Open wide. Scott it. Slay everyone. Mmm. 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 Nice and chewy. These remind me of rice cakes. I guess in a way, they're like the Chinese version of Korean rice cakes. They're rice rolls, so close enough, right? So this one is a hoisin sauce. I always want to like focus when I go close up, but it never does for some reason. So strange. Mmm. Mmm. Hoisin is good as well. And then let's try some hot sauce for the very last one. Hmm. All three of them are very unique tastes. Hmm. What my mom told me is people normally pair the hoisin sauce with the um, sesame paste, like they dip it together because it goes well in combination. Oh my god, I realized I just forgot something. Um, apparently, according to my mother, uh, people usually pour soy sauce over top of their rice rolls and then they dip it into the uh, sauces they have. So I'll be right back because I need to go get myself some soy sauce. BRB everyone. Okay, so I am back with my soy sauce. Let's drizzle this bad boy onto the rice rolls. Whee! Nice drizzling action going on. I can't tell if it's like easier to look at the camera, like the viewfinder, or to actually look at the food because it's slanted on an angle so you guys can see it a little bit better. But yeah, this is the traditional way of eating it. You put some soy sauce onto your rice rolls and then you dip it in the sauces. And yeah, again, the hoisin sauce and the peanut, or not the peanut, the sesame paste are the most popular combination. So I think I'm gonna give that a try. Okay, hoisin first, and then sesame. Mmm, okay. Mmm. It's so much better in combination with one another. Mmm. Mmm. I'm tempted to try all three of them at once. Let's be adventurous. 
Let's live life on the edge. YOLO. Am I hashtag relatable yet? Mm. I think I like just these two together. Cause like this one's spicy. I don't think it pairs that well with sesame and hoisin sauce. So I'll probably like keep these separate. What a coincidence that the sauces are already separated. Mm. So in today's video, it's actually gonna be a pretty special video. I'm not sure if I put this in the title yet, but can you guess what? Can you, can you guys guess what I'm doing? Mm. I am doing an unboxing video. Well, it's not really an unboxing. It is. Um, if you guys don't know, I have a P.O. box opened and in one of my past videos I asked you chopsticks to send me stuff if you want to be featured in a mukbang. So I actually got something in the mail a week ago. I uh, posted it on my Instagram story because I was so excited to get something. Like you do not understand how excited I get when I get physical mail because like everyone uses email now. No one actually writes letters. Me and like some of my old friends we like to write letters to each other because I don't know, we're old school that way, but I get so excited when I get something in the mail, especially when it's not expected, like in my P.O. box, because like if you're just ordering a shirt from H&M or Zara, you're like, oh, it's going to come in two weeks, you expect it, but this was a complete surprise, so I am so excited to open it up. If you are interested in sending me anything, and seriously, you can send me anything as long as it's legal to ship. Um, I'll put all my P.O. box shipping address and information in the description down below. It is in every single video description. Like I copy and paste it on every single video I upload. So if you do want to send me something, the information is down below. Hmm. I went on a little ramp there, I think. Hmm. Sorry, it sounded like I was choking or something. Mm. I love chai fun. So good. Oops, oops. <laughs> that one like smacked against the sauce or the, what do you call those? A saucer? A sauce dish, there we go. A sauce dish. Mmm. Look at the sauce. It's glistening. Oh no, it's about to drop. It did drop. It was glistening against the lighting that I have. Mmm. So much better with the soy sauce. And unless you specifically tell me not to open whatever you send to me in my P.O. box, it's a guaranteed feature, a guaranteed shout out on camera. Cause I know some people don't like want me to like read letters or something cause it's a little bit too personal. But unless you tell me beforehand, I will be featuring every chopstick that sends me something. Whether it's like an actual package or a letter. Hmm. Mmm, so good. The package is actually right, right beside me. Let me show you guys. Ta-da! So, I'll be unopening this a little bit later in the video. But first, let's do the question of the day. So today's question of the day is, out of these three sauces, which one is your favorite? 
is your favorite hot sauce, sesame sauce, or hoisin sauce? Which one is your favorite? I would love to know, so please comment in the comment section down below. Please comment in the comment section down below. I would love to read all your responses. You guys know that I genuinely care about what you have to say. I literally respond to all my comments. Well, now I sometimes miss a couple of comments on my older videos, but seriously, if you comment on my new video that I just uploaded, I will be responding for sure. Mm. Ooh, this one's a big one. Ooh, it's so long. Yes, I love long things. My favorite out of these three sauces, hmm, gotta think about that. I think it would have to be the hoisin sauce because I really like sweet sauces. I just love sweet foods. Hmm, yeah. This one, oh, can you guys see? This one is a winner right there. Hmm. I wonder which one will be the most popular out of the three sauces. Hmm. Hmm. There's actually two different kinds of rice rolls. There is the fried rice rolls. These are pan fried. And then there's also steamed rice rolls. Um, I think at dim sum, the steamed ones are more commonly served. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, I'll insert a picture right now. That's what I'm talking about. If you've ever been to dim sum, you definitely have seen steamed rice rolls before. It's a staple. It's pretty basic. Um, every dim sum place has it. Hmm. Hmm. One end, I can dip it into the sauces. Another end, I can dip it. Sorry, I meant one end, I can dip it into these two sauces. And the other end, I can dip it into the hot sauce. Mm. I'm actually so excited to open the package because, like I said, I got it a week ago and it's been sitting in my room the entire time. I was waiting for the perfect video to open it. Hmm. If you're wondering how much the rice rolls cost, what you're seeing right now, I think it was like probably a dollar fifty US, two dollars Canadian. I didn't make the entire package because I thought it would be too much food, but I am so hungry right now. Hmm. So yeah, a dollar fifty US. Pretty cheap. Inside the rice rolls, we have some green onions and dried shrimp. Dried baby shrimp, to be exact. Okay, so I can't take the suspense any longer. I need to open up the package because I've been dying to find out what's inside. First off, I want to give a massive shout out to April Lowe from the United States of America, more specifically, uh, Wisconsin. I believe that like WI stands for Wisconsin, right? So shout out to you, April Lowe. Thank you very much for this amazing package. I am honored and privileged that you sent me something. Like girl, I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I gotta be very cautious because like this side has like all like the personal address shipping information. So I'm like strategically showing you guys this side that doesn't have anything at all. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna shake it. What do you guys think it is? It's like very like rumbly. I feel like maybe it's candy cause like there's a lot of different pieces inside or it's popcorn. I think it's candy. Oh, that should have been the question of the day. The question of the day should have been, what do you think is inside the package? Next time when I get something else, I'll make that the question of the day. Okay, so I'm gonna guess it's candy. What do you guys think? Ooh, let me, I, I can actually, sorry. Uh, I was very excited there. So like I kind of stumbled all my words at once. Um, I can actually do a poll on the screen right now. Let me insert a poll right now. Please go vote right, ooh, is it? Oh, crap. It's, it should be here. Okay, go vote right there. What do you think is inside of this package? I think it's candy, but I'm gonna put some other options on the screen there as well in the poll. Okay, please go vote. When I get excited or like when I have sudden ideas, I can't really articulate myself that well. So I was like, oh my gosh, I just thought of something. <laughs> Okay, did you guys vote yet? Go vote. Don't cheat, everyone, okay? Don't be a cheating. Chris, what's the name? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's Ruffles, Flaming Hot Ruffles. Oh my God, this is so cool. I've never seen this in Canada before. I swear we don't have this in Canada. Flaming Hot Ruffles. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. I'm gonna try this after I finish my meal. Mm. So yeah, again, this is what the Flaming Hot Cheetos, not Cheetos, Flaming Hot Ruffles look like. We do have Flaming Hot Cheetos in Canada, but not the Flaming Hot Ruffles. And we got, oh, you're so nice to me. You're so generous, girl. We got another bag as well. And then, ooh, last but not least, we have, oh, more chips. This is a mozzarella and marinara flavored ruffles. Mozzarella and marinara flavored ruffles. These are so unique. I've never seen these flavors before. I'm definitely gonna try them after I finish my roast rolls. I'm so excited. Interesting. Mozzarella and marinara. Yeah, I'm pronouncing it right, right? Interesting. Thank you very, very much, April. I really, really, really do appreciate it because we can't get it here in Canada. Maybe I should do like a giveaway for Kinder Surprise or something like um, ca candies you can't find in the US from Canada. Hmm. That's actually so cool. So um, if you guys guessed chips, you're right. You win. You win a life. Mm. I wish we had more flaming hot stuff here in Canada. Because mm. I love Flaming Hot Cheetos. I wonder why some items are ex exclusively only in the US. Mm. Probably has to do with like contracts or something something legal. Mm. The thing is, I love ruffles to begin with. I think my favorite flavor for ruffles is all dressed. 
Hmm. Who's Ruffles' main competitor? I think it's Lay's. Is it Lay's or Pringles? Or Cheetos? Hmm. I wonder, out of those um, companies I listed, which one is the biggest? I think it's Lay's. Lay's is probably the biggest. Man, that was so good. Mm. Okay, so time for dessert. Which one should I try first? I think I'm gonna do the Flaming Hot Ruffles first. Mmm, smells good. Mmm. So if you've never seen a Flaming Hot Ruffles before, this is what it looks like. It's pretty red. Here, let me get some more and show you guys. Oh, that might fall down. Oh, oh no, that fell. <laughs> Buy some more, I mean like one other <laughs> chip. <laughs> Maybe I can show you what's inside the bag. Ooh, oh no, you can't really see it that well. But yeah, it's pretty red. Let's give it a try, shall we? Mmm. Oh yeah. It's not that spicy yet. Maybe um, it's because I just had the hot sauce. Mmm. I think it's slowly building up. Oh yeah, I can definitely like feel the kick. It's not like the hottest thing I've ever had, like Korean fire noodles, but it's a, it definitely it's it definitely is spicy. Sorry, I think that's like when the spice hit me a little bit, because I was like, oh god, I need to finish my sentence, but it's so hot. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, let's try the mozzarella and marinara now. Mmm, okay. This one has a different smell to it. Maybe it's because it's a different flavor, Merrick. Mmm, <laughs> okay, this one smells like pizza. Yeah, this one smells like pizza for sure. Here's what it looks like. And then here's inside the bag. Oh yeah, this one looks a lot like you can definitely see the coloring inside. Here, let me show you the flaming hot ones again. Cause I feel like I can do a better job. Like that was a half ass job before. Yeah, you guys can see it better, right? Like the redness inside the bag. Okay. Mozzarella and marinara. Mmm. I like it. Mmm. Kind of reminds me of like sour cream in a way. It's like sour cream combined with bacon. Smoky bacon and sour cream. Is that a weird combination? Have you had these before? <laughs> Please tell me it's not just me. Yeah, definitely sour cream and bacon. But 
those were like the first things that popped into my mind for some reason. Mmm. Both of them are really good though. Mmm. So yeah, thank you so much April for sending these. I love them so much. If you do live in the States, go try them out. Alrighty, so that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. If you are subscribed, turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. Again, massive, massive, massive thank you to April for sending me these chips. They were delicious. I appreciate it so much. If you are interested in being featured in a future mukbang, you can do that easily by sending me anything. Send me a letter, send me some food, send me a toy. Just send me something so I can unbox it on camera, just like April's chips. Love you so much, Chopsticks. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to repeat that my shipping information, P.O. Box, is down below. All the information is down below. Just open up the description and you'll know where to direct your package letter item to. Love you so much, Chopsticks, and remember to slay your day.